If you are a parent and you are moving to Singapore, then this vlog is for you. Welcome back to my channel Just Flow with Jui Friends. Once again, welcome you all on my new vlog. Many of you have asked me about the school admission process in Singapore for foreigners. So finally, this is the vlog where I am going to explain you the school admission process and will be answering to all your queries. So without wasting any more time, let's start the vlog. And if you are watching this vlog, then please do not skip the vlog from anywhere because a lot of informational things I will be telling you. And yes, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Friends, if you are moving to Singapore, the first main thing you will be looking for is your accommodation. Now, accommodation will be mainly depending on the location of your office. On the basis of your accommodation, you will be selecting the school for your kids. Now, basically in Singapore, there are two main regions. That is the east of Singapore and the west of Singapore. Suppose if you are uh, searching for your accommodation in the east of Singapore, then definitely you will be looking for the schools that are near the east. And in case you are going to the west of Singapore, then you will be looking for the schools that are in the west. In case you are deciding in the central part of the Singapore, then you can explore each and every school, be it in east or west. Why am I saying to select a school near to your accommodation because here the international schools are having very long hours like more than 6 hours sometimes. So if you select a school near to your accommodation you will decrease the transportation time which will be really good for you. Now let's understand this more deeply. Suppose if you are coming to Singapore and residing in the west of Singapore, first thing you will do is to list out all the schools that are in west of Singapore. Now some of the renowned schools in the west of Singapore are like Dulwich College, Canadian International School, One World International School and Yuva Bharati International School, out of which only Yuva Bharati International School is providing the Indian curriculum that is CBSC, rest others are providing Cambridge Board or the IB Board. Also me coming from India looking specially for Indian boards so other schools in Singapore providing Indian boards are like uh, GIIS and DPS International School where this uh, GIIS is Global Indian International School and DPS International School where both the schools are in the east of Singapore. One of the most important things here is to understand that we foreigners cannot go for local schools that are the Singapore government schools. We only can go for international schools. Local schools here are meant for Singaporeans and PR. But no need to worry, there are more than 50 international schools in Singapore and they too providing the best education in the world. Now, on what basis you will be selecting an international school for your kid? There are basically three main factors. As for me, the first is the budget, the fees, the second is the curriculum, and the third is the certificate and the teachers. The first factor is the fees, or I can say the budget. Now, these international schools are very expensive. Why they are expensive? Because usually they hire their staff outside the Singapore, so they incur additional cost of recruitment and then accommodation for your teachers. So generally the fees is very high so you can uh, decide the school as per your budget in the fees you will be mainly looking for the monthly or the semester fees and the admission fees admission fees is the one-time fees that you pay to the school the second most important factor is the curriculum. By curriculum here, I mean the type of the board school is providing. Like CBSC board based on Indian curriculum, IB board, Cambridge board, IGSCE. Many a times you will notice that a single school is providing more than one board. So you can decide as per your choice. And the last one is the certificate and the teachers means what kind of certificates the school will be providing to the students and teachers you can decide on visiting the school. Usually the admissions are going on throughout the year so you can visit the school any time of the year or you can mail them even before moving to the Singapore or after coming to the Singapore. Once you mail them they will be definitely replying you with the whole curriculum and with the fee structure. In our case we wrote a mail to these Indian schools even before we came to Singapore and we received a mail back from them after just 24 hours. So they are very easy to approach and you can also mail them and reach to them easily. For the admission, usually a written test is taken on various subjects like Maths, Environmental Science, EVS and English. So friends, I hope this vlog has helped you a lot in understanding the school admission process in Singapore for the foreigners. In case you have more queries, you can definitely comment below or you can mail me on my mail id which is in the description. 
there are lot many helpful blogs on my channel in the playlist of uh, singapore expect information you can check that out also in the end screen you will see other informational blogs in case you are moving to singapore so friends see you on my next vlog till then bye and take care